At the corner of Bridge and Pinnacle, yeah, right in front of the church, pretty much. And what city or township? Belleville, Ontario. Okay, and uh, what phone number I'm putting area code are you calling from? Uh, 613. <laughs> It's, he's, it's right in front of the vacant lot beside the church, right on the corner. Yeah, you know the spot. He's right oh, there. Okay. Yeah. Um, is this person awake? I, I, I'm driving by and I honk my horn on him. He looks dead. This guy looks dead. His face is right down. It doesn't look like he's you breathing. He's, did you say he's dead? No, he lo I'm, I, dro I drove by. I drove by. I'm in my car. I honk okay, my horn at him. You, sir, I understand that. You yeah. drove by. What did you say after that? Okay, so I drove by and I honked my horn, right? And he, he like, you know when someone's passed out and they pass out with their head down and it's like, it okay. asphyxiates, asphyxiates them or whatever? He's got his head I, right deep, deep down in his chest. He doesn't look okay, like he's, so he's like, a, yeah. Okay, so he seems that he's unconscious? Yeah, he looks like he's in distress. That's why I'm calling. Oh, okay, oh, and you wouldn't know anything about like his breathing or anything like that? Like you don't know what happened? He looks like he's suffering from a drug overdose. Uh, he looked like an older middle-aged man. He's got like a jean jacket and a black t-shirt on and a, a ball cap. His ball cap was down over his head. And his head was like deep in his chest. Okay, jean jacket and a, like, do you know what color of a ball cap? It was like a turquoise green color. It, it just looked like one of those shitty green wax baseball okay. caps. Okay, okay. We're on the way there and I understand you don't have any further information. I'll let you go. Just call back if anything changes or you find out more information, okay? Black t-shirt, blue, or er, jean jacket, and he had blue jeans on and he had like shitty Converse sneakers on or something like that. Okay, all right, we're on the way. Okay, yeah, and he's right at the corner, passed out, sprawled right out against uh, the telephone pole. Sir, I heard you. We're on the okay, way. Cool. I'm going to let you go, okay? Right. Bye, thanks. Bye now. So I thought it was funny that the operator had a lot of, I thought were kind of silly questions about, well, I told her that I drove by, so I don't think she understood that I actually drove by. She didn't actually stop. It's just this guy looked dead I'm just driving by. So I called, and sure enough, he was unresponsive on the corner, just sitting there. And so they showed up in like under five minutes and they're administering CPR to this guy in the corner. Um, I drive by here and I get a couple of still shots. He's not responsive by the look of it. He still needs access to buy one so I didn't have my camera on before, but I have it on now. I drive by there, they are right there on the corner. And there he is sitting there on the ground. In the same position where I saw him where I drove by earlier. And that was my drive home from work. And so, you know, I didn't have to get out or do anything really. I just kind of saw what was going on and made a judgment call. And it looks like it made a difference. So hopefully that guy got some help and he's all right. So thank you very much.